When I was in my mid-20s and I was desperately in search of improving my life, I was doing the graspy thing that I see so many other people do, which is that we're I was hiring a coach, I was reading all these books, I was doing all these courses, I was investing all this much money, but I wasn't really making dramatic progress. I made a little bit of progress, but it wasn't anything that really changed my life at a high level. And more so than that, there were so many things I needed to improve upon that I didn't even know where to begin. And so I ended up with this long laundry list of like a two hour morning routine trying to improve my life, and it just wasn't practical. So in this video, I want to share what my ultimate conclusion was and what I realized the most important thing was I had to do that after that, my life really did change consistently. What's up guys, Alex Hine, author of the book Master the Day. Now the first link in the description is I've included a free journaling worksheet. So one of the things I talk about here so much is how I use journaling to reinvent my life, to gain direction on what to focus on, to figure out how to actually strategically reach my goals. Now in the description there below, I've included some of the journaling exercises. There's one page you'll download there, but I've also included an email drip that you'll get once every three days on how I use journaling to improve my life. So you can click the first link in the description below to check those out. So what was the ultimate commitment I made? The ultimate commitment that dramatically changed my life is something not so sexy, but if you live this way, it will consistently make your life better every single year. And that one commitment was to growth. And I think for me, it seems like it's a soft skill, right? Growth, like, why don't you give me a tactic? It's not manifesting, it's not journaling, it's not... No, it's a character trait. It's the habit of being someone who gets better every single year because what I can say for a fact is my fitness has gotten better every single year, better performance, better aesthetics, my financial life's gotten better every single year, business has gotten better every single year, my friendships have gotten better, more numerous, deeper every year, I've traveled more every year. You really can consistently improve every single year and life can get better. That's not to say fluctuations don't happen but my life really has gotten better. Like for example, when I started my business, at the start, it took me three years and three months to quit my job, guys. Like, can you imagine working on your passion project every night, three hours a day, after a 10 hour a day job, for three years, hoping, praying, wishing, like, okay, I assumed at the start it would be six months, took three years. What is that, five times the amount of time that I thought? That's really tough. That was really hard emotionally, so stressful. I wanted it to be done years before that, but that's how it worked out. But the reason that I eventually got there is because I sucked as a business owner at the start and I had to grow and learn the skills of a business owner. I had to learn, how the hell do I even make money? Like, where do I get paid to feed myself? I had to study sales. I had to study marketing. I had to learn how to write content, how to get students and customers, how to create courses, how to write books, how to sell books. This commitment to growth, to figuring out those skills, that was the thing that allowed me to now quit my job, to now have an awesome life that's just getting better every year. It's the growth commitment that allows you to figure anything out because it is all figure outable. I struggled with being skinny for so many years with these lifelong digestive problems. And yet, the reason why now, even though I'm not at my ideal physique, but I've made humongous progress in the last five or 10 years is because I constantly committed to growth. I was analyzing my performance. What was working? What was not working? Where do I need to change my habits? What's not working in terms of my habits? What is working? And if it isn't working, what new habits do I need the next week to make sure that I'm changing my character, my fundamental philosophy about growth in terms of fitness? So I had to figure out, is this workout working? Is this way of eating working? And then my dedication to becoming better eventually helped me figure out a philosophy that works for that. My struggle with, (laughs) sounds weird, being single because until I was 25, I never had a serious long-term relationship. And I could have been the baby that was just bitching and moaning about how hard my life was and how it sucked and it's so unfair. But I took the path of, instead of what I see, a lot of Kids, for lack of a better word, bringing a gun into school, I chose to get better. 
Seriously, I chose to get better. I felt that exact same rage, I can promise you that. But I chose to get better and deal with my issues. And so for me, I improved a lot of aspects of my character and my personality. I improved the things I didn't like about myself. I improved the things that I was struggling with. And as a result of that, I had to realize, you know, hey, I'm really quiet when I go out to social gatherings. Am I going to have a girlfriend if I never speak to a girl? Hey, I always complain that I don't have a lot of friends and I want to have a few close, deep friendships. Well, if I'm not proactively trying to create friendships, are they just going to fall in my lap? Hey, I want to gain 20 pounds. Hey, I want to have better style. Hey, I want to be more interesting. Hey, I want to smile more. But wishing and wanting wasn't going to fix that. I had to grow by actually changing my habits, my character, not only my philosophy, but the way I showed up in the world. And it was that commitment to growth that led me to now having had really amazing relationships with women. And I don't have to go running around the world seeking and searching and swiping right on Tinder. Those kind of things, they happen more organically. So when you make the commitment to growth in your life, to improving specific character traits, personality traits, skills, things you are struggling with, you will naturally attract that kind of life that you've been wishing for for so long. So think, what aspect of my life does not work well? That is where I need to work on my character, my habits, and my skills in that part of my life. All right, guys, so for me, of course, the first link for reinventing my life has always been through journaling. You can check it out in the first link in the description. But otherwise, comment there below and let me know for you what is the one thing you want to work on that you want to focus on being growth-oriented the most? What part of your life do you want to make the most growth in this year? Comment right there below. You know, I'm often asked, what was the number one thing that I used to change my life? What was the thing I used to figure my life out and get my crap together? What was the thing that I used to organize my goals or to study personal development and get in the best shape of my life and stay in the best shape of my life? What was it that I used to help me clarify what I wanted in my career? or what my passion was, what my calling in life was, and what was the thing that allowed me to build a business that's now my full-time living with hundreds of thousands of followers and millions of views. Well, that one thing, that practice is journaling. You know, journaling is what helped me clarify not only what I wanted from life, but turning that into core, clear action steps to find my passion and write books and create this kind of incredible audience. It was the thing that helped me clarify specifically what I wanted and the crystal clear roadmap in order to get there. And I've put together a free download and a journaling email series that you can get by going to the first link right in the description or successjournalingcourse.com.